everybody, Rich Noto here, Florida Licensed Realtor, Florida Licensed Home Inspector, and Notary Public with Loan Signing Agent Certification, your construction train realtor. And it's always so important to have a realtor with construction training throughout the process because let's face it, whether the home is a completed inventory or it's a resale house, or you're having a house built over the five months, eight months, a year, whatever it may be, it's so important to have someone on your side that can help you identify construction defects Okay, that's just so important. The more eyes on your house that are helping you and working for you, the better. Check out the video at the end. For at richnotohomes.com, find the house you're looking for in Central Florida, Orlando, Kissimmee area. Are you interested in a full-time living residential house or a vacation home? Investing in a rental income property? Thinking about selling your home? Look no further than richnotohomes.com. Dependable help from start to finish. Don't make a mistake along the way. Go to richnotohomes.com. A little bit more information about that. And also something to keep in mind, it's very expensive to have to pay for repairs to your house after you close. And if you're uncertain about that because maybe you're a first time homeowner, call some plumbers, call some siding companies, call some stucco companies, and you can see how quickly hundreds and thousands of dollars can be gone like that. So just keep that in mind. I'm over here at Marion Ridge from Lancy Homes. We're going to go check out this inventory house called the Kensington Flex. So let's go inside and have a look. I do have other videos of the Kensington Flex at other communities, but let's go take a look at this one, see what we see. I have not been inside this yet, so it's going to be a surprise for me as well as you. Okay, so a very large room when you walk into the left. Now, because these homes are inventory, of course, they're not 100% completed. There's some extra space over here, as you could see. I think this is the laundry, yes it is. Very nice, I like the I like the floors, I like the tile. And here we have another bedroom. Because there's two bedrooms over here in front of the house. Well, maybe this is more the middle because I guess that room over there would be the front. So this is nice because there's three bedrooms in the middle. I like that. A little bit more quiet. Pretty nice open space, plus a lot of cabinets and a large island. Look at that. Let's check out the pantry. Yeah, that's a good one. She got that pantry, plus again, all these cabinets and a lot of countertops. Nice and connected, except for, of course, where the stove is going to go. Here's the master bedroom. Yeah, 
What do I got here? Tom in the closet room. And here's your master bedroom closet. Oh, there's space in, in back of the door. I wasn't sure. Let's let's do the selfie selfie stick thing. Closet can. Okay, so let's see. I was uh, looking at probably oh, it's gotta be a, I would have to guess about maybe 12 feet. Again, just a guess. Um, bathroom. Bathroom feels a little bit snug, but it's to be expected with with this many rooms in the house because essentially you got four bedrooms. Plus you got that flex room in front of the house. So, you know, this is definitely for people that want some extra rooms and some decent sized bedrooms as well, because again, bedroom here and two over there. And then we had this, this large living room or we're trying to say like a dining room or whatever, whatever might be right for you, of course. And of course, please always do contact me first before you, before you contact any home builder. When you contact the home builder first, you may lose or avoid your paid for by the builder realty representation. I do appreciate everyone watching. Thank you for stopping by. Have yourselves a great day. Prior to being a realtor, I purchased a house without a realtor and then with a realtor who had no construction training, no construction certification. And I can tell you that it's extremely important to have a realtor with construction certification. Here's how to get my service paid for by the builder free to you. Please contact me first before you contact any home builder. When you contact the home builder first, you may lose your paid for by the builder realtor representation. If you email them, call them, text them, go to the sales office, walk the models, anything that they can match up at the time of contract, they may say you cannot use a realtor. Please don't contact the builder and ask what their policies are either because that would be your first contact. You see how this works? When I went to purchase my first house, I was given terrible advice. Everybody told me I had to pay for a realtor, which is just not true. I had no realtor and it was terrible. From start to finish, it was exhausting. I was treated poorly at sales offices and after I signed my contract, the salesperson basically vanished on me. It was just a terrible experience. When I purchased my second house, House, I knew I needed a realtor, so I started searching. I encountered top sellers who seemed impressive, but they were just high pressure sales. They were telling me to go to the builder, tell them I'm your realtor. When you pick out the house you want, contact me and I'll come down and help you. They would show me two homes, three homes, ask me which one do I want to buy. Many of them couldn't even respond properly to an email, which is much like when I help my buyers to find resale homes. Many of the realtors that are selling these homes, it's like they don't even read what you wrote. So my my realtor ended up being a new realtor. He was loyal. He went with me to like 20 builders that I picked out. He wasn't selling me out to sales associates. He wasn't selling me out to other realtors. He wasn't selling me out to resale home sellers. He was no doubt on my side. So like most realtors, the realtor that I picked had no construction training, no certification. At the time, I didn't even consider it. As we went from house to house with new construction, with resales, there were times I had questions and he didn't know, or he was kind of guessing, and he would at least tell me he's just guessing. The information that I received was incorrect. I realized that home inspectors are there to look over a house and find issues with them. But let's face it, the home inspector is with you for two hours, three hours, looking at the house that you're interested in buying. Your realtor is with you, if the realtor's a good realtor, for potentially six months, 12 months, while new construction house is being built. Your realtor's gonna be the one that's gonna be there with you when you're dealing with rude, obnoxious construction managers that are lying to you when the home is built incorrectly and they just want you to just go away. They want you to just sign, say the house is okay, or it's gonna be passed off the warranty, and that's it. So having a realtor without construction background is not a good idea. And if I was gonna be buying a house in another state, even though I have a home inspector's license and I am trained, I would still want to find a realtor that is construction trained because the more eyes, the better. Everybody's going to spot something different. I would even potentially hire two inspection companies or maybe more to look over a house. 
Just some quick tips, just want you to understand that. I believe in a comprehensive realtor service where I could answer and guide and look at home inspection reports and have an understanding of what's going on and how to help my buyers best. Thanks for watching this. Back to the video. Mm -hmm.